In this video, we're going to break down the cost to some of the building envelope products. So that would be the insulation materials, the air barrier materials, and the vapor barrier materials. We will do this by showcasing three different wall assemblies that we've built over the last couple of years. Our first example is a home that we currently have under construction, which is about a 4,000 square foot bungalow with a space above the garage. The target for this project is to be net zero energy ready, and it has a R value for the walls of about R34. I'll work from the exterior to the interior, not including any finishes on either side. So the exterior insulation that we have on this project is three inches of Rockwell comfort board and that costs about $3.60 per square foot and gives us an R value of 12. Behind the insulation we have the weather and air barrier which is the Adhero and that costs about 83 cents per square foot. The Adhero is then applied to the OSB followed by the 2x6 framed wall which we have an R22 Rockwell comfort bat in costing approximately $2.13 per square foot. Our smart vapor barrier is Intello Plus and that runs about 64 cents per square foot. So the total material cost for this project is $7.20 per square foot for that envelope. Remember, that is materials only, that is not the labor. So the Adhero product and the Intello Plus products are ProClima products which are supplied by 475 High Performance Building Supply and they are superior products so they do cost a little bit more but we've worked with them quite a bit and we are very happy with them. As the saying goes, you often get what you pay for. Our next example is a 3,800 square foot home that we had built within the last couple of years and the wall assembly on this is about R38. To achieve this wall assembly, we used four inches of XPS insulation on the exterior for an R value of 20, which right now is priced at about $5.87 per square foot. The Adhero was applied to the OSB, similar to our last example as the weather and air barrier, and that runs at 83 cents per square foot. Between the two by six studs, we had R18 of spray foam insulation, which worked out to $3.31 per square foot, but this is the one cost that does include labor as you're not going to go out and buy a spray foam truck and do it yourself. We then use just a regular six mil poly for the vapor barrier and that runs at just five cents per square foot. Now in this home, because of some design changes that happened on the fly, as well as how the design overall worked out and where we knew we had some weak points, we also brought in a product called Aero Barrier. They brought our ACH from 1.7 down to 0.5. Uh, and that cost to do that was 66 cents per square foot, but they did give us a discount as it was the first time that we had used them on one of our projects. So in total, the cost for this assembly was $10.72 per square foot. Now, this is not a wall assembly that we would typically recommend, but when we were building this house, it was at the height of the pandemic when delays were at their peaks and prices were at their peaks and everything was all over the place and we were just trying to figure out how to navigate through all of the craziness that was happening in the world. So we ended up with this wall assembly partly to save costs and partly to keep the project moving along as well. And all of the products that we selected were all approved by the client for this project. Our last example is the three day cottage that you might have followed here on our channel. We made a series about this project. The target for this project was also net zero energy ready and it was about a 1400 square foot home and the walls were about R30. On the exterior wall, we accomplished this by using two inches of Rockwell comfort board for an R value of eight and a cost of $1.60 per square foot. We used ProClima Mento Solitex 1000 as the weather barrier over the OSB and that comes in at 47 cents per square foot. And between the studs, we had five and a half inches of Rockwell Comfort Bat, which gives us R22 and that is $2.13 per square foot. Our smart vapor barrier was also our air barrier in this case, and we use the Intello Plus, which costs 64 cents per square foot for a total wall assembly cost of $4.84. 
So as you can see, there are a lot of different ways to accomplish goals for your project. So pricing can vary fairly significantly and it will depend on a lot of factors, including outside factors that maybe don't apply today, but might apply next year when you build your house. So keep this all in mind when you're working with your contractor. It's not necessarily a simple answer. It was fairly simple at this point to figure out pricing for materials, but the other side of the equation, which is not factored in to this video here is the labor. Each one of these products is gonna have a different amount of labor that needs to be associated with it, or it might need to be a specialty installation company like a spray foam company that has all the equipment to do that. So not something you can necess necessarily do yourself on a large scale. So all of these things are important and all of these things need to be factored in and planned for accordingly. And if you live in the US and you're looking to save money on your monthly electricity bills, head to theconsciousbuilder.com slash solar. There has never been a better time to go solar because of the fact that there are fantastic incentives in the US and because of the fact that solar has come down in price by over 50% in the last 10 years. Just go to theconsciousbuilder.com slash solar to see if your home qualifies. And don't worry if you're concerned about the upfront cost because there are fantastic financing opportunities that will still allow you to save money and not pay any money up front. Once again, that's theconsciousbuilder.com slash solar. Until next time, I'm Casey Gray, and remember to live consciously.